So one of the issues that we should perhaps comment on is what if you have a genetic risk of breast cancer, whether or not you have the abnormal BRCA gene, and it may not have been tested, you know that from your family history, uh, you have a, a woman has a risk of breast cancer, uh, particularly on the mother's side. Well, the point I'd like to make, and this is not being shared by doctors and scientists, and it should be, uh, because it's extremely empowering to women, is that genes can't turn themselves on and off. So whether you have a, a genetic mutation or a genetic abnormality that increases your risk, that gene cannot trigger unless it sees the environment to trigger it. That's extremely empowering. It means that there are certain environmental signals that can keep that gene quiet. So it's important to know what some of those environmental signals are that can impact on whether a gene expresses itself or not in the first place. What that translates to is that even if a woman has a family history of breast cancer, if you put the appropriate environmental signals in to that woman's system, then that gene can remain quiet and never express itself. That's what we know about genes. They're not set in stone, they're flexible, they're turned on and off by environmental signals. This is extremely empowering. And actually, the four elements that are components of the breast health panel that, that we offer and that a woman can do from home clearly impact on genetic expression. And so they become a way of impacting on risk.